And back now at 5.30, the race for Dianne Feinstein's Senate seat is on. And with the longtime senator retiring, several candidates are heading to Kern County, including Congresswoman Katie Porter. Known by many for her viral moments, Porter is a three-term congresswoman representing Orange County in D.C. Yeah, the lawyer turned law professor is a single mom of three and took some time during her campaign to visit with Kern County farmers and eyewitness news reporter Will Silverstein. Representative Katie Porter is running to be California's newest senator. But Porter and her two fiercest competitors, Congress members Barbara Lee and Adam Schiff, are calling themselves progressives. One thing that might distinguish her from her opponents is the fact that she represents a more politically diverse district, much like we see in Kern County, where one of our two congressional districts is highly competitive. Something that's different about your district as opposed to your, uh, the other Democrats in the race is that it's more of a purple district. How do you win a more purple seat? And does that also set you apart, the fact that you're able to win a district that has multiple political views? Absolutely. I'm proud of the fact that I represent about equal numbers of Democrats, Republicans, and Independents. What it has me doing is listening to people and focusing on the things that we have in common. I've never met a Californian of any political party or any background who didn't want us to have a strong economy with opportunities for our kids and housing that is more affordable. So there are issues that unite us that we need to work on, but we also need someone who's going to do the work of listening. You can't win in a competitive, tough environment like Orange County from Washington. You have to be there knocking on doors, listening and learning. And that's exactly what I was here in Bakersfield doing. It's the beginning of a, of a more of an opportunity to see and learn about things statewide. Now, potentially more difficult conversation is Senator Feinstein's health at the moment. She's going through, it seems to be some medical complications. But would you, would you be willing to be appointed by, excuse me, by Governor Newsom uh, should she decide to step down? Well, Governor Newsom has said in public um, a couple years ago that if there were an opportunity to appoint California's next senator, that he would appoint a black woman. Um, and I am not a black woman, so I think that Governor Newsom has made his position clear. But let me say this. Really, this should be Californians' decision, especially at this point. We're, we've got a primary coming up in March. The election season is well underway. We're all out here campaigning and talking to voters. This is a big decision for the people of California to help elect a leader who's going to help fight for our state and steer it forward on the challenges going forward. So I very much look forward to competing and to earning the vote of Californians. If it is Representative Lee, would you be concerned that she would have a leg up in the primary should it come to March? Um, I just don't know how to think about that because I see Senator Feinstein has continued to um, be in Washington. Um, I think she is traveling back to California for some of the August recess, but I, as far as I know, she plans to return, and I'm fully focused on winning the votes um, in March. Porter is known for her viral whiteboard moments in congressional committees, and the OC representative left Eyewitness News with a whiteboard moment of our own. In Bakersfield, Will Silverstein, Eyewitness News. And to watch our full interview with Representative Porter, you can head to our website, bakersfieldnow.com.